monetary policy will remain in a transitionary phase in 2018 as the Fed continues along its path towards normalization. Since the Fed began its hiking cycle in 2015, it raised rates a total of five times, three of which took place just last year. 2017 also marked the start of the Fed's balance sheet unwind process. So with policy normalization already underway, what's expected in 2018? First, the Fed has telegraphed clear expectations for the path of short-term rates over the next few years. It projects three additional rate hikes in 2018 towards its long-term goal of a target rate of roughly 3%. Yet, investors continue to remain skeptical and are pricing in approximately two rate hikes later this year. Next, the Fed will move forward with its plans to gradually shrink its balance sheet. Starting January of this year, the Fed will reduce its holdings by 20 billion each month, with the pace of reduction scaling up to a capped 50 billion later this year. Of course, it's worth noting that the Fed is prepared to make adjustments to these policy plans based on changes to the trajectory of economic growth, inflation, or labor market conditions. Finally, the leadership at the Fed will also be transitioning this year as Jerome Powell is poised to take the reins. Powell has been a part of the decision-making process since his appointment in 2012 and has worked closely with Yellen to craft the direction of policy in recent years. As such, few expect him to take central bank policy in a materially different direction. Overall, if the economy continues to ex expand at its moderate pace, investors should expect the gradual pace of monetary tightening to continue. However, if there are meaningful surprises on the economic front, either positive or negative, the Fed seems prepared to adjust courses needed, but that could be a catalyst for increased market volatility ahead.